What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel, the auto shop life. So, had a long week at the shop. Figure uh, haven't done one of these in a while. Hit you guys with a quick tool haul. Got to pick up them, uh, you know, buy one get one deal promo tools on the trucks. Also got the uh, new Milwaukee's in. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys. So, been waiting a while for these uh, new Milwaukee's to come out. Uh, got the long necks, got it three eighths and quarter inch. So, you guys seen them out there. You know, I got to grab some for myself, check them out. Uh, I've had them for probably about a week now. I did an Instagram post the day after they arrived, but been putting these things through the ringer. Definitely uh, had a big timing job on the aviator. The three eighths definitely comes in handy. You know, it actually surprises me that the quarter inch is more expensive than the 3 8 being less power but I'm guessing you know the smaller size with the smaller head and things like this this one's probably a little more versatile you know that's why Milwaukee probably sells these for you know a little bit more than the 3 8 at least for the bear tool that's what I picked up you guys know I got Milwaukee tools I got batteries for days chargers for days but definitely pick these things up still waiting on the grinder but uh, for the most part I mean they're pretty good you know fuel obviously brushless you know, maybe I'll bust out the snap-on, we'll compare them, but there they are side by side with the four amp hour battery on there and uh, they get it done. They definitely do. The head on the 3 8 is a little bulky, um, you know, especially compared to the snap-on one. Let's grab that puppy out. We got the snap-on long neck and, you know, the comparison on the heads there, you can definitely see that it's definitely got some girth to it. You know, it's definitely, uh, you know, it's about the same size with the battery on it, but they're pretty much the same size. You figure, you know, neck to where the anvil starts, you know, the length on them. You know, this one I do notice is definitely more powerful than this. I can't remember what the torque was on this. I want to say maybe 45 or 50. The box on this one, the 3 8 I believe said 55. Got the box in the back office. You guys leave down in the comments, quote me if I'm wrong. But part number on the 3 8 is 2560-20 for the bear tool. Like I said, I got the batteries. And then comparing it to the quarter inch, to the long neck, about the same. I still got the rubber coating on this one. I do use this one a lot less than I use the 3 8 snap-on, but around the same. You figure with the battery on it, you know, bottom, where the bottom starts, all the way up, about the same size. They're about the same height, you're getting the same reach. I do like the slimmer design on this one. You could probably get it in, you know, tougher areas and all that stuff, as opposed to this bulky thing, but definitely more power. You know, it's getting it done. Probably the same speed as, uh, as the normal Milwaukee, the, the smaller one. I think it's the same torque, too. Got the gauge on there. We'll, we'll do a review on these. Let's get these things through the ringer, but had to pick them up, had to get them into the arsenal of Milwaukee tools that I got. You know, I mean, Milwaukee's come a long way. I uh, really dig them. It's a tool I use every day. I'm sure most of you guys out there do too. So real quick, talk about the Milwaukee's. That was my internet tool haul. Uh, you, know, you know I was gonna pick them up. You know I had to get them. Um, I'll put those things through, through the ringer for a few months, get back to you guys, let you guys know my thoughts on them and reviews. I mean, for now, I haven't had them long enough, but they definitely, you know, they remind me of the normal ones. They're definitely getting the job done. They definitely put out and doing what I expect them to do so far. But we'll dive down, check out what I got off the tool trucks. All right, guys. So, you know, with the cold weather coming, I always, uh, you got to bundle up around here. It's starting to get chilly in those mornings. Grab that sweatshirt. Snap-on was right on time with it. They got a, had a promo going on. Tool guy had uh, buy three hammers and you get a free sweatshirt. Nice snap-on uh, sweatshirt. I believe this is a hoodie. So I had to pick that up. Picked up the 32-ounce uh, dead blow. I got the 56-ounce uh, big boy dead blow. And then I got a non-marring hammer to get the uh, sweatshirt. And then I had to, uh, I had lost my regular hammer. This one's the 32-ounce, uh, you know, regular hammer. Had to pick up another one. I got the smaller version. So solely uh, getting up on those snap-on handles. You know, something, something about these hammers, it just, uh, you know, I, I dig them. You know, they definitely, uh, the anti-vibe on them, the handle on them, you know, I guess being plastic, you know, you would think they're not that strong, but 
you know, I beat the crap out of these hammers and, you know, they hold up. They definitely hold up. Got nothing against them. They're easy on the hand. You know, the weight on them is pretty decently, the way they make them. So definitely pick these up. Had to get them, but, uh, you know, mostly picked them up. Obviously, got to get the new hoodie out. And then the next one I got from Snap-on, I got the... I got the, I don't know if you guys remember this one from a few years ago, the little uh, tiny pocket light they had. This one had, you know, a normal LED in it. Then you hit the button twice and it had this puny UV flashlight in here. I mean, I don't know, you know, I, I guess I've used it and, you know, it does what it's supposed to do. But, you know, that puny little light, you know, you got a small enough dye leak or, you know, UV leak. You're not going to catch that with this. So, uh, you know, I guess they heard us and they came out with another one. Um, I don't know if I have the box on this one. I gotta get you guys the part number. I'll leave the part number to this in the description, but this one's all UV. It's got two switches up top. It's got a high and a low setting, and this boy is bright. There's the low setting there, and then, bam, super bright. UV, find those UV dyes. You know, this is not really the season for it, but you know, that's when you pick up those tools when they're out of season. You guys looking for a motorcycle, get it in the winter time. It'll be a lot cheaper, just like the tools. You know, buy winter tools in the summertime, they're cheaper. Buy, you know, summer tools in the wintertime, they're cheaper. But pick this one up, it's a newer tool from Snap-on, and it definitely, uh, definitely way better than this one. I mean, this one was pretty much, the UV light on it was a joke. They might as well just took the LEDs all the way up to the top and dropped the LEDs all together. And I also don't like how you got to hit the button twice to get it to turn on. You know, if you're just using it as a flashlight, you go to turn it off, it's still on. Sometimes you forget about it. And we all know you can barely see that. You guys pick these things up. Any of you guys using these out there, you know that light is a joke. Uh, but this one's definitely getting it done. Uh, works off AAA batteries, just like the other one. Right in the bottom here. Got a couple AAAs in there. Kendall batteries. I don't even know what brand that is. You think snap on they'd put a better battery in there but uh has the magnet on the back on this one and on the little clip part so this one just had it on a magnet on the little clip part none at the bottom here so definitely an upgrade this uv light definitely an upgrade from this one but you know i don't know where they were trying to go with this one if it, that was just an added feature or you know people actually getting stuff done finding uv leaks with this uh sorry uv light on here ultraviolet light so that's a snap on haul all right, guys, and then got to show love to the Cornwell man, my guy, great rep. Um, this one here, got the ignition set, got this sign on a promo. Obviously, you know I'd be looking for those deals. You know, this is their 100th anniversary thing, 1919 to 2019, 100 years, quality tools. Got that with the ignition set. I can't remember exactly what I paid, maybe about 300 bucks, but it comes with the whole set. You got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Looks like 16 pieces are pretty much the whole ignition set. You got all the uh, all the sockets. You got ones for the old Chevys, ones on a swivel, three for here for the swivel, 5 8 9 16 and 13 16 You got the 14 millimeter thin wall for those Subarus and what have you. Um, for some of the Fords, you got the 16 millimeter. And then just the standard 9 16 these are all magnetic, not with the rubber, they're actually magnetic. You got the longs, another just standard one, and then three locking uh, extensions along with the ignition ratchet. And this thing is nice. The, the teeth are, uh, you know, Cornwell makes great ratchets. The teeth on it, nice. like the feel for it. Um, you know, not a big fan of a non-soft grip, but, you know, it's something to get used to. It's definitely having an extra ignition wrench laying around, you know, I got no problem with that. It's more of a bonus for getting all the sockets in one set. Comes with a nice foam tray, but uh, couldn't pass it up. Had to grab that off the Cornwell guy, put these things through the ringer. I got a few of them odds and ends, but not a full set like this, so had to grab that. And then another one I had to grab because uh, got a few of these little tappers here, but had a customer uh, about a week ago drain plug stripped out on his uh honda accord and uh we had to retap it had to work my magic with what i had i got another little set but picked up the set pretty much for that but ended up picking this one up you know figure give the customers option to save them money if they got a stripped out drain plug or what have you you know or they don't want they can't afford pulling a pan down you know i always like to give options i try to take care of my customers as much as i can but this one's uh you know pretty much designed especially for those you know, it comes with the new drain plugs on here. It's got the magnet on there. It's got the little gasket on there with it. And, uh, you know, it's the pretty much the whole set. You drill it out. You could cut it back. It works for a couple different pans. 
Um, it's got the little stepper bit here, and then it's got a little, uh, I've yet to use this, but it's got a little spacer on here, so you don't cut in too deep. Pretty nice, and then you could set it, you know, how far you want it to go in. And then it's got the retapper here for the, for the plugs. So a pretty nice set. This thing was pretty expensive, but I've seen sets like this go for more than I picked this one up for. I'll leave a link down in the description if they, uh, you know, this is made by uh, Lyle, I believe. I believe it's Lyle. You guys let me know down in the comment sections if I'm wrong. Um, I believe Lyle makes this, but I'll leave a part number down in the description for this, but, you know, perfectly in the hand. You know, especially if I end up stripping a drain plug, you know, easy way to fix it, proper way to fix it without having to replace the drain plug. So, you know, got to love those oh crap tools. So, all right, guys, just a quick one. Had to go on and throw on the uh, snap-on hoodie. Like I said, it's getting chilly my part of the world. Summer's definitely over with around here, but... Uh, Quick tool haul for you as far as the Milwaukee long necks. We'll uh, put those things through the ringer for a bit. Maybe get, hit you guys with a three month review. Give you guys my, my review on it. You know, things like that. Pretty much quick hands on. Use it for a few days. Like I said, they're definitely performing the what I expect from Milwaukee. You know, getting it done. A um, few little pros and cons to them, but you know, we'll cover that stuff in a three month review or something like that. Still waiting on the uh, grinder to come in. Can't wait for that to get here because the snap on buffer battery one I've been using is straight junk you know it's I, I hate that tool uh hate even grabbing it but i still do use it because it's, it is still better than air but uh gotta show love to this tool truck guys quick tool haul for you guys like comment subscribe catch you guys in the next one signing out